Hello, uh, good day everyone, dear astronomers and uh, hobbyists. Uh, so this is a, a video about the uh, STM32 for OnStep using a printed circuit board. Uh, the printed circuit boards makes things much much easier to build than either a breadboard or uh, a perf board kind of uh, uh, controller. So as you can see in this picture, the uh, the PCB uh, has uh, is built using components. Uh, uh, most of them are small boards rather than discrete uh, components like uh, uh, resistors and diodes and and, uh, and these things. So there are a few things that are still discrete, but I'll point them out. But the bulk of the stuff is uh, the uh, uh, the pre-built circuits. So here the the STM itself goes here. Uh, this is the RTC and the EEPROM. Okay, this is a, a small board that goes in here, and then there are the two axes, axis axis one and axis two, uh, for the uh, the drivers, stepper drivers. There is a resi there is a capacitor for each, and then there is a small fuse that can go here. This is optional, but if you wanna if you wanna use it, you can you can use a glass uh, type fuse uh, we use the glass type because it's cheaper and it's available on eBay rather than the automotive one which is, which seems to be only available from uh, Mauser and DigiKey uh, uh, so it's more expensive and then here goes the Wemos uh, D1 mini which is the Wi-Fi controller um, and then there's the focuser driver goes here um, resistor array goes in in here for the uh, for the st4 port and the power controller is is, is here and the buzzer is here okay so uh, this is a, a plain board as you would order it on easy eda the the links will be uh, in the in the description of the video on the back you know there are just the, the routing of the of the wires you only solder things on the back you don't need to solder anything on the top so after you've, you've soldered in stuff this is how it looks um, so this is the CP25 the USB thing this is soldered and the reason for soldering it is that it has to be sturdy and uh, and it, it should not wiggle and uh, you have here female headers and the the, the ports which are which are the uh, Molex KK type, which is uh, on on eBay, you can get them using KF two five one zero. Okay, so one for each axis here, and then the female headers for the drivers to go in. This is a jumper to allow the DRV eight eight two five to work. Uh, you don't need that for the LV uh, eight seven two nine. Here is where the STM plugs in. Uh, this is where the Wemos plugs in. Uh, the these ports. Are optional if you if you take the the Molex KK and route it to the to the case where the port the port can be a DIN type or a RJ type or whatever. But there are RJ types here that you can use if you want. You still have to run a wire from here to here, okay, and the wire from here to here. Uh, what else? So there is a small switch here that that. Uh, goes into the uh, the STM32, and uh, uh, this is the power the power module. It is it is soldered. You can solder it higher, and this way it will uh, not uh, not touch the the buzzer. It doesn't matter. The buzzer is actually there are two types of buzzer: the active and passive. If you use the passive, you need a resistor here, uh, 470 ohm I think, and if you if you use the active like I use, you just you just run a wire through. Uh, for the for the fuse, I just use the wire across, and this is the power. This is the power input. This is temporary until I get uh, a case, and then that wire will be will be on the case. So uh, let's uh, put the components in and uh, and see how it looks. Okay, so. Uh, this is the uh, the board after I put in all the components. So the the RTC, the Wemos for Wi-Fi, Access One driver, the LV eight seven two nine, and then the LV eight seven two nine for Access Two, 
and uh, uh, that's uh, that's about it. Uh, the other important thing is that you have a, a three wires going in from the the boot zero uh, header of the of the uh, uh, STM32 to that switch, and this is important. So. Uh, what you could do is that is that you have a flash and run. So this is basically the run position. If I do it like this, it's the flash position. So I can just flash it from the from the USB. Um, so let's power it up and see what happens. Okay. So uh, it isn't powering up yet. Okay. Let me just connect the power then. Okay. So now it's powered up. And uh, the motors are connected. Let me get the motors in the in the picture here. Okay, that would be. Okay, so I'll uh, I'll connect to it from. K stars, uh, which is the the desktop program that I'm using for the uh, for controlling the mount, and I'll just say start alignment and look look at the look at the LED here. Now, of course, there's there's another LED that you can connect here, okay, to the case which I haven't done yet. So it needs a small resistor, 470 ohm, and uh, two leads to the to the LED, and of course this would make the tracking LED visible to the uh, you know. Okay, so now you see that it's started the tracking, and then what I'll do is I'll tell it to to go to a uh, any star. Um, okay. As you can see, the motors are moving here. So it basically does uh, what you need it to do. The soldering of the components is not is not is not hard. Uh, the good thing is that these are mo mostly pre-built components. Uh, they are not uh, discrete ones that have directionality. The only directional component that are, that is discrete is, the, is are these capacitors there. Okay, and they are the, the on the board there is like marking on wh where is the negative, and you just position that. The way you do, of course, if you if you you have the Wemos and and the STM32, they can go in different ways. But you know the the uh, when you remove them, you will see that under uh, on the board there is the uh, the labels for each key, uh, and of course it works with Wi-Fi and everything as it as it should. Now I can I can add another uh, driver here, and for the for the focuser. And uh, that's it. So basically, there is a PCB. Uh, the link you'll find the link down on the on the wiki. And uh, go ahead and uh, build uh, uh, low cost, high performance uh, on step uh, controllers. The total cost of of this should be around twenty five to thirty dollars, depending on what components you use. Uh, if you use the DRVs, then they, they, it would be less. If you use the the LV. Eight seven two nines. Then it, it should be around thirty dollars. Okay. Have a nice day and uh, let us know what you build.